Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we're on episode 302 of the death walkthrough starting in a very odd place um, from normal episodes, but um, we're just finishing off the um, Quest that we or the dungeon just before where we were last time So if you didn't see the end of last episode, I would recommend going watching that so you know exactly why I did that Also, we leveled up which is why I was recording right now. We're now level 138, which is pretty cool um so yeah, hopefully this time the game will work. Who knows? Maybe it won't. I don't know. We will find out in now. Yes, it worked. Lovely. Capital. I have everything we need here to test the effect of Splendorphins on Antijoys. Except, of course, for the Antijoys themselves. I'll need you to go get some from the Hangry Gobblers. Just get them worked up and collect the sweat. Battling ought to do it. Meanwhile, I'll run on one of these old treadmills to make Splendorphins. When you have the Antijoy filled sweat, come back through that other entrance. Shouldn't be any of those nasty little nose nuggets that way. Right, and now we can use the door. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, I'll be back once I have defeated a whole bunch of these gobblers. Come on, not even a cookie for our troubles? Mess with us again and I'm going to eat your hat. Seriously though, it's a delicious looking hat. Right, we have it first try, which is fantastic. Let's talk to Rosina. Again, we can go through the door. Lovely, 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 lovely. Hello. Whew, you're back. I've whew, collected my Splendorphins. And you have the Antijoys. Great, just give me a moment to mix them together. Success! They cancel each other out! Which means we can remove the sourness of the gummies so good old-fashioned fairy dust can do its thing! The problem is getting enough Splendorphins. I can't do it by myself, and the other gobblers are too hangry and lazy. But like I said, a gobbler's personality is affected by what they eat, so if we can find the right food, it might settle them. To that end, check out the library. It's nothing but cookbooks, so I've never actually been, but perhaps one such book has the meal we need. Right, let us head to the library. I cannot remember this at all. I just don't remember the library. I don't know what the heck the library is about, but um, apparently we're just going there. Hopefully it's not too bad, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. We will go to library. Uh, is this bringing back any memory? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it is. I really cannot remember what's in here. I honestly cannot. I just have no clue. It's been way too long since I've done this. Way too long. It's been like, what, four months nearly? That's a long time. That's a really long time. What is in the library? Oh. Okay. Salutations! Forgive our untidiness. We are gorging ourselves on this literary cornucopia because we envisaged the taste of berry. Verily. <laughs> Alas, I have hence grown suspicious that we, mayhaps, have been pronouncing library inaccurately. Hmm, interesting theory, Adelard. <laughs> Does the conversation vex you, stranger? Allow me to elucidate. We are ingesting books. Surely we need not recount to a spiral traveler such as yourself the age-old adage of... You are what you eat. Indubitably. Now, I am intrigued by what this obviously erudite young wizard brings to the metaphorical dinner table. Let the feast begin. Right. Let's do these guys. They're not going to be too difficult, but there is a myth here. Myth in life, so it could be a little bit sketchy at parts, but hopefully not too bad. Let us see. I also just realized I did not change badge. Hmm, gonna have to do that in a second. I like to change badge after every single time I record so you know when and what order I do things. If you know what order the badges are in. Or not, just, just so I can use them all because I have so many. Gotta, you know, switch it up every now and then. By every now and then, I mean nearly every single day I change my badge. I'm a man of many names. Many titles. Man of many titles. One name, many titles. But today we are not the purifier. As much as I like to purify the gobblers, we, we did our purification yesterday. That was removing the oogie boogies, the boogie boogies or whatever they call oogie boogies. I think they're oogie boogies. I also got a badge for doing them again off camera while I was being painful into doing the whole dungeon all over again. <laughs> so that was fun. That was fun. Right, let's go for a crew. 
No, we're going to blade. We need the more blade. We need another blade. They've got slightly too much health for a Scarecrow. Especially the Myth Guy. Because I can't remember if we boost on him yet. Or anymore. I just... I don't know. The resist just changes. And the resist and boost... I don't know whether we're using, like, the Arc 2 stuff or the Arc 1 stuff. It's confusing. Because every... Every single world, it seems to change. They just can't, you know, get a system in place that is accurate across every single thing. I know I definitely boost on the life. That's just a given, but the myth, I might. Oh, I may not. It, it completely depends. All I know is I'm probably not resisted. It's confusing. Very, very confusing. But anyway, anyway, we should be fine, hopefully. Hopefully. Luckily, no earthquakes, which is great. I don't even know if he knows earthquake, but... If he does, he's not doing a good job of casting it, which I completely approve of. I really approve of it. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't fizzle. I don't think we will. But we, we might have. I don't know. I don't know what my accuracy is. I think it's 100. I think it's over 100. So we should have been fine. But, you know, you just get that, like, what happens if I do, though? You know, just that wee little thought in the back of your head and you're like, ooh, maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. See, yeah, we don't boost on the... We do not boost on the myth guy, but we did on the life. Fair enough. It did basically the same amount of damage, though. Well, that was illuminating. I've learned that we have much to learn about the magical arts. Indeed. Wizard, have your designs on further provocations? Or was there perhaps a specific volume that my compatriot and I could locate for you? Ah, yes. I laterally had a nibble of such a text. The only one of its kind, to be sure. Uh, the Alpoy Expedition, I believe it was called. Alfoy, you troglodyte. Stranger, your query is right over there. It is, as they say, all yours. Okie dokie. When the High Luminary first identified the small tunnel through which the ether could be navigated, we never imagined what we'd find. New worlds, some that seemed to mock the very design of Imperia. Eventually, we came upon a world wholly constructed of pure sweetness. We have since harnessed the power of this new world's natural saccharine resources and used them to create such treats. Such delights! Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. So it's the gobblers who made all of the things first. Makes sense. Or the Alfoy, I should say. The pre prelude to the gobblers. Prelude to the gobblers. I like how there's just so much gobbler lore now. In the last two worlds, there's, there's just been so much gobbler lore all of a sudden. And it's fantastic. Who needs lore about anything else when you can just have gobbler lore? It's all that you ever need in your life, you know? What was just shoehorned in in like a side street is now like a major plot point of two worlds. Ah, wizard, did you find anything useful? Uh-huh. Wait, you keep saying Alfoy as if it were a real word. Let me just look at that book. Oh my, if this text is accurate, these ancient Alfoy explorers that no one in modern times has ever heard of settled right here in Caramel. Like I've been telling you for the whole time. They learned to harvest sugar and to make treats. Why, they may have started the entire Caramel confection industry, but what became of them? And more importantly, their knowledge. If these Alfoy knew the secrets of Caramel treats, then perhaps they had other information we can use. But where else would we find ancient records of that magnitude? Oh, Gobblestone! He was notorious for hoarding trinkets and curios. Perhaps Gobsmack will let us search through the old stockpiles, if we ask nicely enough. Come, we must return to the castle. Right, this is where he um, may get a little bit stuck. I'm not sure. Can we go through this door? No, we can't go through this door. We have to go through this door. We might get a little bit stuck here, but we'll see. There is a boss. Kind of scary, scary stuff. Um, I'm going to need to look up the cheats because it's, you know, pretty... Pretty, pretty, pretty big. Um, yeah, it also changed since I did this on Test Drum. And look at that one over there, buddy. It totally looks like a fresh knee ball with frosting. And, oh, oh, oh heads up, buddy. They're back. Oh, um, do you mind, like, not making us do anything this time? We'd like nothing more. Just direct us to King Gobsmack, and we'll leave you to your cloud spotting. Sweet. Thanks, little buds. 
Double thanks, little buds. Just use that door over there. They're like putting new locks on the other door. Something about keeping witches out. <laughs> Looks like we're going in completely blind because uh, things haven't been updated on the wiki yet, which makes sense because it's still new. Um, yeah, this will be very interesting to see how things go. Let's try this. Hi there, us again. We were hoping we could peruse any archives you might not have devoured for information on the Alfoy peoples. Uh, no. No? Is that really what he... Well, why not? Not that you deserve an answer, but it's probably due to the fact that the subject matter for which you inquire is... forbidden. Forbidden? Guess that explains why no one of intellectual merit has ever heard of them. Why are we forbidden to speak of the Alfoy? His gargantuanness declares that your insolent questioning has spurred him to action. <laughs> the kind where he chews you up and spits you out. <laughs> um, yikes. Okie dokie, let's see how this goes. I'm sure nothing bad could happen, right? Um, hold up, let's put in another blade as well. Um, I have no idea how this is going to go. I, this fight has been changed significantly since Test Drum, or since I did it in Test Drum. Um, we don't even need these. Um, yeah, I'm going to hope for a, a, a Scarecrow ASAP. That would be the best sort of thing because I know these guys apparently do a whole bunch of damage to you very quickly from what I've heard. Um, so that's fun. I don't really mind about the infections. I don't have any heals in anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. This could turn terrible, absolutely horribly wrong. I don't know. Guidance? That's not cool. Do we just hit? I think we just hit. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overhyping it. I don't know. Maybe if you just, like, defeat them quickly, it's fine. Who knows? I heard stories about this at the end of Test Drum that it was slightly broken because originally it was broken. Um, so maybe, maybe I'm just too good. Actually, I'm going to have to kill the Shadow one again because he's a little bit resisty. A little bit resisty. A little bit resisty. Um, but we'll see. Super easy. I don't know what people are complaining about. <laughs> Watch me just get absolutely wrecked next round. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Absolutely wrecked. Uh-oh. That's quite cool, though. Oh, no. Oh no. They come back. Ah! Okay. Slightly worrying. Slightly worrying there. See, in Test Drum, when I did it, you just defeated them and everything was fine. And this whole thing didn't happen. I don't know if you do it all at once. If it does that, but um, this is slightly worrying. This is slightly worrying here. Slightly worrying. Definitely going to need a drain of some form. Um, oh, there's a death one as well. Yikes, ski doodles. Um, right, let's blade real fast. Ooh, this could be interesting. Luckily, we have a decent amount of resist, so we should be fine, hopefully. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Fizzle. Damn it. Oh my gosh, Hammer Thor. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie then. Yikes, skidoodles. Okay, that's fine. Didn't do much. Wow, look at that health. That's satisfying, to be honest. Very satisfying. Um. Okay, that's fine. I really need to get a Ship of Fools ASAP. ASAP. Luckily, we go first as well. So next round, please say I get a ship of fools. That would be fantastic. Because I know that this dot can't kill me. 
Okay. Okay, we might have to flee and come back and try this again in a second. Um, but we'll shield. We'll see how shield goes. We'll try the shieldy thing. Could be good. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully I get a ship of fools. That would be fantastic. Hopefully they just, you know, don't hit me with anything weak. Okay. D don't worry. They're hitting me with things that are weak. Um, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Please, Death Guy, don't do do what you want to do. I know you want to do something, but just don't. Just just don't, you know? Just... Ri okay, that's fine. Good. Faint? You know what? We'll take that. We take faints. We take them like the champ we are. We're going to hope they don't hit. Pass. Everybody pass. Everybody pass. Shield? Sure, whatever. I don't care. I mean, I kind of care about that, but whatever. Don't hit me. No, please don't hit me. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He has so many pips. So many pips. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're going to have to try that one again. And I ain't getting... I don't want to be... Watch me just get instantly teleported out afterwards. Again. And I really don't want to risk that. So I'm going to walk all the way there. So I'll be back in a sec. Look at all of them lining up to taunt me. Right, let's try this again. Take two. Let's let's see how this goes. The oogie boogies will boogie no more. I've changed my deck up completely as well to try and maximize as much as I can get. So we're going to put on two blades before we hit to kill all of them and see if killing them all at once would be better. Um, hopefully. I can understand why people have problems with this now. Completely understand. <laughs> completely if you're not death you're gonna be in trouble absolute trouble um, because obviously you don't well that was a bit rude um, obviously you don't regen health so or get health back so that ain't cool that was really rude of him he just straight up nicked my blade my blade like what the heck what the heck what are you doing man please do not do that don't do that it's not cool not fair I do not approve I do not appreciate. Are you just gonna spirit shield them all? It's crazy. That also would be, would be a problem for most people as well. Luckily, death has a solid counter to that because drains are cool. Um, but everybody else, that's a yikes. It's a solid yikes from me, honestly. Honestly, solid yikes. Solid yikes. Get all of your damage up right now. Do it all. All of it right now. I kind of want to just restart this. We've already lost two blades. Two of the four blades that I have are just gone. Just like that. What the heck. Right, we're going to go death blade. And um, just hit. And hope that that is good. Um, and maybe, maybe things will be good. I don't know. Third blade. Maybe this one will actually stay there. I don't know. Watch the fire guy just steal it again. Or one of them just to bring out the random and feeble. Okay, I was going to say, if you brought out the random and feeble, I would have been very mad. <laughs> I saw a store and I'm like, mmm, okay. Okay, don't do that. No, seriously, calm down, but this is fine. Hammer of Thor, that's okay, you know. We don't we don't mind about that. We don't care. We ain't care about that. Yeah, you fizzle. You're bad. You're so bad. Get wrecked, noob. Yeah, you get that myth pierce. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. Right, we're going to go for a scarecrow. It's going to kill all but the shadow guy again. Actually, this is a 50 blade, I think. So maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. But we'll see. We do only have one more one more blade left. So that's a slight yikes. That is a slight yikes. But hey, crit, blade, 50. Maybe. Maybe going to be good. I don't know. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very tight. Ooh, that's tight. That's very close. Nope, did not quite kill. So close. So close with him. He's got like 5 health or something. At least we have enough pips to follow up with a um, ship of fools, which is good. And we might even have a shad as well. So, yeah. That'll be cool. Luckily, we're full health, so this won't kill us. Because 3 does not kill us. Um, this just takes 5 million years. Just please hold while we wait for five million years for this cheat to 
do its thing. Please hold. <clears throat> very annoying. Very, very annoying. We get the point, you wanna hit us, you, you want your boogies to be back. But nah, it ain't happening. Not today, fool. Not today. Not today. Not today, please. Just, oh my gosh. So slow. Why is the animation for, like, them summoning just take way too long? Way too long. That would literally kill me. If I had killed all of them and they came back still, that would have literally killed me. Like, 100% would have killed me. That is honestly ridiculous. And there's a death one. Okay. Ooh. We do have a Lulu. So we're just going to do it just to get health back. We might crit. We might do a lot. I don't know. Um, but we're going to get health back. So that's good. We don't have any more blades because they're apparently not coming. Don't know where they are. But they ain't here. They ain't here. That's where they're, they are. They're not here. This is a lovely wee follow-up. We're going to have another boogie revenge. Um, I don't know how this works. Whether we have to just defeat them all at once, or if we just need to defeat them twice, which could be the case. At least we're full health now. Oh, hello. How the heck is the balance... Go this is that the shadow guy still? Is he still alive? No, okay, that's fine. I was gonna say... Please only do it once, 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 only do it once. Only do it once? Yes, only once. Okay, right, we can do this. We can do this. The end is near. The end is near. We got this. We got this. I'm I'm proud of myself. I'm doing it. Look at me, guys. I'm doing it. One more scarecrow and... I mean, I think we can do it because we're going to boost off there. The death has a shield. We do have a... Not a shield, a trap. We do have a faint. I think we're going to do it. Honestly, honestly, really proud. That was a mess faint. Jeez, he's going to kill himself there nearly. Oof. Oh, minus 90. Don't worry. We, 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 we thought about that. We didn't actually think about this, but we have, we have counters to this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We have some cleanse. I mean, we have nothing else to do for a bit, so we're just going to cleanse. Um, jeez. Juju? Really? Wow. Wow, they're really going ham with this, man. Jeez. These boogies are no joke. No joke, these boogies. But don't worry. I, I carry cleanse. It's all good. It's all good. As Tekka taught me well. Yes, take up that stupid feint. Yeah, on the stupid natural attack. That's going to be like 500. Actually, like 800. Yeah, not bad. But it could have been the ice guy. That would have been very scary. Very, very scary. Don't worry. We can hit in two rounds and all will be okay. All will be okay. That would have done actually no that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad i was expecting him to do a little bit more i don't know where this epic comes from and what it's used for but um whatever do we just do this i don't know if this kills the i don't know if this kills the this man's and i mean we have plenty of things so we're just gonna pass one more round one more round, hopefully. No more jujus. And hey, if there is a juju, you know, it's fine because it just takes more damage. So it's a win-win. Okay, that's not the best. Not the best. Kind of not what I was hoping for there. Do we do it? I mean, we're not in the point of we're going to die. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this real quick. I don't think this is a time gated one, but hey, we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll see. One more round. One more round. Don't do anything you stupid, okay? Okay, that's fine. Oh, this could actually do a little bit of damage. This could do a lot. I completely forgot that this was a spell. Okay, that's fine. 1,000 is not too, too bad. I did try and just, you know, count to make sure that they wouldn't do too much. Luckily... Luckily, with all of the spell nerfs, you kind of know exactly how much each pip is doing. So, you can generally gauge on if you're going to actually die or not. And luckily, I didn't. And I didn't think I would, but you never know. There's some spells like Vengeful Seraph that just pop out of nowhere. And you're like, how much does that actually do? Because I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't really know. I don't use it. I don't use it. I don't see it often, so I don't know. All I know is it does a lot of damage. Um, that's fine, right? Death guy, gone. Balance guy, gone. Get out of here. Ice guy, hopefully gone. Yay. Is your shield saving you now? No, I didn't think so. Bye. Wow, I did it. I'm so, so proud of myself. <laughs> The king has had enough. All oh, this quibbling has given him heartburn. <laughs> Just let us look through Gobblestone's old stockpiles and archives and we'll be on our way. <laughs> so be it. The knowledge you seek is in one of these piles here. Probably. Just dig around. What was it? Was it boots? It was Uber. These are, these are the in-game gear. Yeah. They're the universal. Mm, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Not too bad. What is that? Is that vengeance? Yeah, vengeance. Nice. Six rounds of vengeance. Wow. Wow. We did it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm actually really Look proud of myself. Look at all this stuff. Antiquated ice cream scoops, portraits of King Gobblestone, so many vintage Nana's candy wrappers. Ah, what's this? It's some sort of disc. The design is equal parts familiar and alien. There's no writing or indications of any kind. Uh, oh, that? All we can remember is that it's super annoying and inedible and we hate it. Hmm, sounds promising. Thank you, Your Majesty. We'll leave you be for now. Alrighty, kiddo. I'll meet you in the lab. Right, let's go to the lab. That was um, quite an experience there. Quite an experience. Whew. We didn't even get a badge for that. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I should have definitely got a badge for soloing that. Because that is... Man, that, that's kind of... That's kind of difficult. Not going to lie. That's kind of difficult. Especially if you're not death. I can understand why there's so much pain and destruction and sadness around that. You really want to just go for one of them at a time. Otherwise, you're going to... If I had killed all of them, I would have died. Like... Even though I healed, I would have died if I killed all of them at once. I would have 100% died. But I didn't, so that's all good. <laughs> right, hello. Well, this disc is proving to be a tough nut to crack, I assume. I've never actually tried to crack a nut on account of my terrible nut allergy. I shook it, stomped on it, and even dumped it in oat milk. So far, this disc is a big fat nothing burger. Care to take a whack at it? Yes, I do care to take a whack at it. How will I know when it's on? What red light? This red light? Oh, it's, oh, it's recording. Shh. General Chococon, years ago, you served my father. The most delightful treat he'd ever consumed. The jolt of sweetness spurred him to mount an expedition beyond Imperia to find its like again. My liege, I am happy to report... Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I am happy to report success. Our party has found an entire world of the most decadent sugar. In honor of your daughter, we dubbed this world Caramel. The natives had no clue of the decadence around them, but we mastered its secrets. Then something went terribly wrong. The food we created turned us into monsters. Slovenly, insatiable monsters. We must be saved from ourselves. I've placed information vital to the survival of our crew in the memory systems of this hollow disk. Help me, Choco Khan. You're my only. Oh, my goodness. That person looked like me. There's a whole world of them, Rosanna. That's what I'm saying. This all but confirms my theories about gobbler physiology. It's also an insight into our history that none of us know. We must inform the others. I need some time to process the information stored in the hollow disk. Could you go out and tell the gobblers what we've learned? And while you're at it, use your powers of persuasion to motivate them to do something, anything. Tell them it's the only way they'll get fed. Right, next episode, since that fight took so long, we will be going to motivate the gobblers of Gobbleton. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, smash like, subscribe, I don't know what, whatever I say anymore. And remember to craft! outside the box.